Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to make pushing animations in Blender. First, go to the Mixomo website and log in to your account. Click the Characters tab and choose any character. Go to the Animations tab and search for Push Animation. Select the Push Start Animation and apply it to the character. Click the download button and download the animation with skin in FBX format. Download the pushing animation without skin. In the same way, download the push stop animation. Let's open a new Blender file and import the animated character. Go to the File menu and import the push start file in FBX format. Alright, switch the Timeline Editor to Dop Sheet Editor. Switch to the Action Editor mode. Rename the Action Start. Click the Push Down button to store the action. Let's import the other Mitsumo animations. Import the pushing animation in the same way. As you can see, only the armature is visible because we downloaded just the action data, not the skin. Rename it Pushing and click the Push Down. You can delete the armature. In the same way, Import the push stop animation. Rename the action stop and push down. Alright, let's combine the animations in the NLA editor. If you want, you can watch my tutorial on how to combine Mixamo animations in Blender. Switch the action editor to the nonlinear animation editor. With the start strip selected, go to the add menu and select the pushing action. Select the pushing strip and drag it to the next to the other strip. As you can see, it goes back to the starting point instead of moving to the next action. To fix this problem, select the armature and go to the Armature Properties tab. Under the Viewport Display panel, enable the In Front option, so we can see through the armature. Switch to the Pose mode and select the Hips mode. Go to the End Frame of the Start action. Mark the hip bone location with the annotation tool. Go to the first frame of the pushing animation. Press Tab key to switch to the edit mode. Switch to the graph editor. Open the animation channels on the left panel. Click the eye icon to hide all the animation curves. Only enable the Z location of the hip bone. Press Home key to fit the curve to the window. With all keyframes selected, press G and Y, then drag the keyframes up so that the hip bone aligns with the marker. Switch back to the NLA editor. Hit the Tab key to cancel edit mode. Drag the pushing action on to the first action. Set the blending value to 10 for a smooth transition between the actions. In the same way, add the stop action and edit it in the graph editor.
Let's switch to the Timeline Editor. Delete the annotation tool markers and the keyframes associated with them. Set the end frame of the timeline to 500. Switch to the object mode. Press the right arrow key to find the frame where the character first touches the box. It's frame 25. All right. Press Shift A and add a cube object. Go to the viewport shading menu and enable the cavity option. S key to scale down and the G key to move the cube into the correct position. Press Ctrl A and apply the scale transformation. Go back to the first frame. Alright, let's bind the cube to the armature. With the cube selected, go to the constraint and add a child of constraint. Select the armature as the target. Select the right hand bone from the list. We only want to affect the Y location of the cube, so turn off the other options. If you adjust the influence value, you'll notice the cube doesn't stay in place. To fix this, we need to disable the constraint until frame 25. Go to the frame 24 and set the influence value to 0. Click the little dot next to it and add a keyframe. Go to frame 25. Set the influence to 1 and add another keyframe. You'll notice the cube jump forward. You'll notice the cube jumps forward. To fix this, simply click the Set Inverse button. That's it. Find the last frame where the character stops pushing the cube. It's frame 255. Go to the object menu, animation and bake action. Set the end frame to 255. Enable the visual keying and clear constraint options. Just enable the location channel for baking. Then click the OK. As you can see, the child of constraints is now removed and keyframes have replaced it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next tutorial.